Hi right, folks, we're just giving out uh, literature. Just giving, giving out literature and talking to people with the gospel. The Lord Jesus Christ and uh, sharing the gospel and uh,
I'll give you the website. Yeah. And then you can go see it. I'm always oh, right. good to learn. Yeah. Right? So, cool. yeah. so then, you know how in the Bible and in the Quran, and yeah. when you, once yeah. you learn as a kid, yeah. it's too graphic to learn what actually happened because you can't explain to a kid how sex happens straight away right. as they want. So you do have to explain to them in a certain term of understand, yeah. which is Adam eating the apple, the apple meaning the male organ, and um, I mean, the apple meaning the female organ because of the shape, and the snake being the male organ, which is which is the man. For, for us, for us, oh, no, no, for us it's just a natural apple. Yeah, exactly. Because because as a kid, this is what this this is just my interpretation. I've not heard this anymore. I was just thinking. I, I, I always I do think like that. So, right, uh, you know, I, show I, you I, that. I, show religion is, <laughs> so it's, it's very very wide. So. You know, and my my understanding of it, obviously, from going to church and obviously being a Muslim, growing up as a Muslim, yeah, you do get different information, and it's only when you grow up. That's why I'm saying you probably know better than me because I, I'm only 23, and your experience is still probably more than mine. Do you know what I mean? So you could tell me more than I know. That's why I came to ask you. But what I'm saying is, you can't explain to a kid that the snake was a man's penis because in the shape of a man's penis does have a resemblance to a snake. This is what I thought, like, in no, a way. No, no, let me, let me explain. Let me explain. Where, in, the, in Christian theology, <laughs> yeah, right, and I don't know about Islamic theology. Yeah, in that, Christian, that's just, that's just in Christian theology, Genesis chapter 1, 2, and 3, right, in the beginning of the Bible, it talks about God creating Adam and Eve. And it, we believe that it was a literal historical thing that Adam and Eve was created. So we don't believe in evolution, right? And the tree that he put there, he had a, a, a fruit of knowledge that they were not to take, and that was a literal So, and the snake was represented as a saint. Well, it was a literal snake that did talk, but it was possessed by Satan, because later on in the Bible it talks about that the, the, the snake was a representative of the evil of Satan. So, the whole point is that sin came in because of Adam and Eve's rebellion. And, and because the world is messed up, there had to be a redemption. Now, in the Quran, it talks about Abraham. And God gave Abraham, uh, said, sacrifice your son. And Islam has a different view about who it was. But then God said, don't. This is where we celebrate Eid. It yeah. came from that only because of the, the line of Muhammad links to Abraham. That's, that's, the, that's the main reason why we, and obviously we could be really after run which is why so, so Abraham uh, was told to sacrifice his son and then when God provided his wrath. And this is part of the redemption that God is planning. God is planning to redeem us. So why did he why did God say to Abraham, so we believe that his faith was tested and that the sacrifice of his son was pointed to get rid of no, you're all right. After, after, God, after Abraham, God then had uh, Moses, and Moses was given a sacrifice where he had to sacrifice him. Sorry, let's uh, interrupt you. When Abraham had two sons, yeah. right? And one was the one from Muslim. I didn't say it. First one is Ishmael. Ishmael. Ishmael, yeah, Ishmael. Yeah. Ishmael is the line of Muhammad. Yeah. Which you see, you see, this, this is why I say but religion the, is so widespread because but, but, you see the interpretation of when Abraham did say about the son, which which Christianity everyone believed Jesus. Yeah. 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 But, well, this is why it also goes a bit more wider apart because if you look at it, there is so many because we believe Jesus is a prophet. Yeah. Okay? yeah. So then. If you look at if you look at it in the whole sense that every prophet or every special God chosen person has had something to do, has had like miracles or yeah, something that yeah, yeah. out of the ordinary that any normal man could do, you know what I'm saying? Right. But the choosing saying Jesus, Jesus is special, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Just just as the same as like I said, God spoke and God is also tested every single one of us. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, 
you used to say, you used to say, I'm not saying, there, there's nothing wrong with, you know, not, I don't believe it. In, 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 all, in, in all common sense, my mum explains this to me, you look at your fingers, yeah. Yeah. this one hand does not resemble this hand, no matter how much it's, you know, yours, they don't resemble each other. So therefore, regardless, so they're never going to be... E equality is only in the eye of God. Right. Equality is not in the eye of God. No. And that's why we cannot have, we don't, we do not have one equal. We don't have a two. There's two is in everything, but they're not equal. In every part of any equal. There's no such thing as something that's perfect. And the only perfect, the only thing perfect is God. Which is why I think the misconception from Christianity and Islam, yeah, where science comes in, right? Because science explains a lot of things. I thought you were supposed to. I am. But that's what I'm saying. I'm not um, what is, what, okay, if, explain to me what Muslim is. Well, Muslim is a pretty word. The word Muslim means you yeah. submit. You submit to Allah. Yeah. And you, you, you have the five pillars. To yeah, isn't it? I was going to say, do you want to film this in? It's talking about science and Quran and stuff. This guy is, uh, and I've got science in the Bible. Do you want me to write it? I will in a minute, yeah. Let me just, let me just take this. I'm going to get the cross. Just hold on a bit. I'm going to get the cross and I'll sit this on the cross right here. Because it's hard to hold it with your hands. All right, yeah, yeah, sound. I want to get, I want to bring a monopod. You know those, those yeah, tripod, those tripod thing. Yeah, yeah, you need one of them. Yeah, but Christian, as a, as a, Jesus was in the Christian. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ was in, he, the Christianity came after Jesus from history. Christianity was in Jesus's, Jesus had his own disciples and he, and, he, and he preached the word of God and he preached the word that he was sent, right? Yeah. But he didn't create the church Christianity. Just the same way as Islam, yeah, meaning yeah. one God, yeah. right? The word Muslim is just a, it's just a word for you to categorize this is your group, this is what you follow. Now, this thing with Christianity is this is what you follow. You follow Christ, you believe in Christ, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, so what I'm saying is his teaching is about salvation, about being reconciled to God. And that is Christianity. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not disagreeing with the, the message of Jesus. I'm not disagreeing with it. But if you was before before Jesus came, yeah. did God speak to human? Before Jesus came, yeah, he spoke to Adam and Eve, he spoke to his... So... But he spoke, but he spoke. When he spoke to Adam and Eve, and Adam and Eve rebelled, God gave some skin to put across Adam and Eve. And God, what God was saying is, you've fallen, and you need a blood sacrifice for redemption. And then when Mo Abraham came and Moses came, God gave these sacrifices to show we need redemption, and that's why Christ came. And that's what Christian is, you believe that Christ redeemed us, died on our... On our and that was Jesus' teaching, he said, I came to be a ransom for many. So you've said a lot, and I appreciate what you said, and you're the deep thinking there. But the main issue is, is number one, what do you think of Jesus? And number two, how do you get right with God? Now in Islam, now the, first, the first thing, those are the two to, questions yeah. that have to be answered. Uh, okay. All right. Those are the big questions. And I believe, the, I believe your second question should be your first question, because in the sense that, all creation came from God, right. including Jesus. If we believe, let's say we believe in, we believe Jesus is God and in the flesh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, regardless, all creation still came from the first day of heaven and earth. You know what I'm saying, right? So we all belong to God. But if we believe and if we believe God's word, God's word is so powerful and it speaks to men because it does. Just the same way as Right? Right. Yeah. If Jesus has come in the flesh of God, yeah. right? Yeah. This is why I said your second question should then be because you, you know you said believe in Jesus, right? If Jesus came, if God came in front of Jesus as yeah. a man, yeah. right? Then it is definite it, it is just almost as definite that the devil would have presented himself in the form of man, in the form of man because the devil as we know is just as, it's not just as powerful but God granted him the grace of being there also to tempt us right so evil should be as visible to us as 
Jesus is. So I don't believe the, 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 the difference is we, and I think science will still prove it, and I think Islam has proved it, and I think even even Jesus does never, he, did, he never proclaimed himself to be God. Okay, okay. okay. If, if you read, if you read, let me just finish. Let me just finish no, can I say something? Because, because you've said, you've said yeah, no, no. The, the, I'm not. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Right. You said but from a lot what I know, yeah, no, sorry. But from what I know, Jesus hasn't proclaimed himself to be God because when you look at the interpretation of what God means uh -huh. to when the first Bible was written, uh -huh. they have a different interpretation. Okay, my, my Muslim friends. Now, when you guys, are I'm gonna show you. <laughs> my Muslim friends that my Muslim <laughs> friends good. say that Jesus did not say that he was God. So let's look at the Bible. Let's see what the Bible says. See what Jesus says. Yeah. And then we'll have to end it here because these guys need to get home. Yes. All right. How long have you been Muslim? Give me all my life. Oh, you just died on the cross for each one of us, so I stand in completely worse. Okay. okay. You, you grow till you die. That's what, I'm only, that's what you believe. Okay. okay. My Muslim friend says that Jesus didn't say that he was God. The name of God is important. Yeah? Yeah? The name of God is important. You don't associate the name of God with anybody else. Well, he's put in, but God always is used. God of Son, God of this, which right. is why Allah let is let the... Let me finish. Let me finish. Matthew chapter 28, he's died for you guys. verse 19, to be washed away. says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, that's God, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. He doesn't go the names. He doesn't say the Jesus name of the Father, you. name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. He says the name of the Father, and that name of the Father is then the Son and the Holy Spirit. So the there, the if, if a Jew, it, okay. So if, if you was to write, if, it, if, okay. if a Jew was reading that, okay. we went to a Jew today and read that one week last week because he's associating. Of course, Jesus would be associated, associating himself with God. And that's just to say, no blasphemy, because at the end of the day, you should never judge it. You are, you are we to judge regardless of who does who, because the truth is clear regardless. But that's why Jesus was crucified. They crucified him. Cephas said, are you the son of God? And he said, yeah. They said, I'm, I, they said, so then you can't, but, if he says the son of God, then you, can, then you can't then proclaim that he is God, because then that means he said, he said, he said it's like when you tell a kid, if you tell a child one thing and then you say another thing, then that's two. Well, you think you've got so to then, the context, you have to start the teaching, but in the Old Testament and also in Islam as well, you've got 99 names of Allah, yeah. and one of them is the light, yeah. it's the Alpha and the Omega, yeah. the beginning and the end. Yeah. Okay, so if you look in Revelation, that's Jesus talking. He says, I'm the Alpha, I'm the Omega, first and last. First and the last. And if you go to John 8, 58 in the Bible, well, it, Jesus uses it, God's divine name for himself, which is I Am. The same name that God used when he was speaking to Moses, when he was leading the children of Israel. Out. He says, what shall I say to him? He says, I Am ascended. Jesus uses I Am. Yeah. In the Bible it says, the Jews picked up stones to stone Jesus. And he said, for what good works do you stone? He goes, why do you stone me? Is it for good works? No, because you and me, man, claim to be God. Jesus claimed to be God. He is God, and we know. They understood what he meant then. They understood yes. exactly. Well, they, they were there. They okay. understood what he meant. Salvation. Yeah, well, people understanding it then, and then interpretation being passed down. Just the same way as everything I've said. I might not be 100% correct. Just the same way you know, you've got your mind, so you're probably more correct than I have. But when you say something now, if I was to tell you something, if you was to try and explain Jesus this died on the cross to someone else, you, so you, seem you, to be you washed couldn't get 100% everything I've said. You have sin. Right? So, there, is a, there sin. is a chance of everything being lost in translation. And everything and, and well, words being lost when it's been passed on. But the truth stays the same, right? But, it, but can, I, can I just say, if you, if you study the Gospels, I'm not. St I'm, not but, I'm still alive. But you're saying it could be lost tra in translation. Yeah. It was based on eyewitness material from a variety of people, and also it was a written culture. The Jews wrote the things. I lie, though. Does it not? So, wait, wait. People also believe that the people that were, the people that Jesus said, the people that Jesus um, brought back to death, people also believe the interpretation of different stories is so different from many, many people, many, many scholars that have written. Yeah, you're saying there's differences in the Gospels. 
different to what? There are many differences. Well, you've got to get differences if you if I if I see a guy. That's what I'm saying. If, I, if I, ever see I, a guy. I can lie. I can lie because what your eye sees and what your brain interprets can be completely but, but different. But sometimes re distorted. But in recent research in eyewitness accounts, it's used in law courts to convict people. And eyewitness accounts get generally get the, the big picture of an event. They often get the minutiae wrong. But we use eyewitness account to convict people. And in the Gospels, they're all unanimous that he died and rose again. There are differences, but those differences show that they're looking that's at it. That's a different story. No, that's no, a different no they're looking at it from different. a different slant. Different Every writer looks at it from their own advantage point. Exactly. You see what I mean? But that doesn't mean to say that they're, they're completely different. They're absolutely unanimous that he died and rose again. All right. And the difference is... Let me say, if you read all the papers and they copied each other, you would suspect something. All right. Why is whereas, it? whereas if four papers have different uh, people saying different things about an event, but the main story is the same, you would know you have the truth because mm. if they were all the same, you say, well, he's copied, he's just copied, he's copied, he's well, you copied. You can't say that about the Quran, though, if you had to say about the Quran, because the Quran is one of the most magical... No, but you're changing, you're changing the subject because we're no, talking, no, no, we're talking know, about no, we're just, talking about the scriptures and the authenticity of the scriptures. No, yeah, we're switching over to, to the Quran. No, yeah, because of the, on the on, um, authentic, like you said, God speaks. Do you know the yes. Quran by heart? I know, I know, I know quite a bit, but not a lot. So not not twenty nine forty six. You know that one. <laughs> I know it, but I can't recite right. it off. Well, don't right don't be too dumb, because it's three against one, so we've got to go. <laughs> He's like, yeah. yo, yeah. Sure. Yeah. that's what I said. And we're tilled up. We are tilled up. I've got to go. I'm going to finish this now. Yeah, yeah. If you look at Surah 2947, uh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it.